once I have a target and I understand where I'm trying to drive toward, it's about building that roadmap on how we get there. So you have your business goals and let's say your North Star metrics or the thing that is your, your let's, let's focus on exit because it's what most people are, are probably more excited about than, than building a lifestyle business. Personally, I like the idea of a lifestyle business, but I would say most to, of your listeners mm-hmm. are probably not going to be in the same camp as I am. And so looking at it from that lens, let's say that your North Star is that you want to hit $10 million of revenue and you want to have $2 million of profitability or EBITDA built into the business. And that's a really meaningful exit uh, number. You know, you might look at a four, five, six X on that $2 million and, you know, where I am, wherever any listener is that, you know, should be a meaningful amount of money. You know, I think for for most of us uh, mere mortals here. So coming back to it, how, how do you actually get there? Well, you need to understand the goals and objectives around the business and those need to t- be tied into very clear accountabilities and project plans and those accountabilities then need to be delegated to individuals because like you very accurately called out, Todd, from zero to a million, you can kind of get your hands around everything, right? You probably start to become a little bit less efficient at it from that half a million to a million dollars in revenue perspective, but you can get your hands around it. When you start going beyond and you hit that one to two million mark, you know, things absolutely fall off. And like you said, the balls start to drop. So you really need to build that framework of firstly, who are the first people that I'm looking to bring on to remove myself? How do I sit and play in the most effective seat so that I can drive forward? And so I like to share for people, if this is you, if you're sort of looking to hire that very first person and, you know, let's say you've worked through a little bit around your vision and how you hope to get there, how many products you want to bring to market, I would say more importantly, um, you know, outside of what your brand identity looks like and how it's all connected and things like that, 